In this video, I'll be showing you how to record your screen with OBS Studio. To start, you will need OBS Studio. If you don't already have it, I'll include a link in the description. Open OBS and go to the settings. Select video from the side. Set the base resolution to 1920 by 1080 or your screen's resolution. I find it easier to use 1920 by 1080 regardless as you will usually want to record in 1080p. If your monitor's resolution is higher, then you can set it appropriately. Set the output resolution to the resolution you want to record in. Again, this is usually 1920 by 1080. Set the frame rate to common FPS value, then select 60. If you're only recording your browser or a simple application, then you can use 30. Go to the output settings. Set the output mode to simple. Then, scroll down to the recording settings. Click the browse button and select a folder for your recordings to save to. Click select folder to confirm the location. Expand the recording quality options and choose high quality medium file size. This option will work well in most cases. For high-end systems, you can try using indistinguishable quality. Set the recording format to MP4 or MKV. MP4 is more commonly used and supported. However, if your recording crashes or something goes wrong, you will lose the video. If that is a worry, then use MKV. Selecting MKV will require you to convert the video to MP4 after the recording is done. For the video encoder, use the hardware H.264 option. Yours might be called something similar if you have an AMD graphics card. If the option isn't available, then use the software X264 option. Leave the audio encoder set to default, then enable Audio Track 1 and leave custom mixer settings blank. Apply to save changes. Go to the audio settings. Find the global audio devices options. Expand the desktop audio menu and select the device you use to listen to audio. Using default will usually work as well. Expand the mic auxiliary menu and select your microphone. Click apply. Go to the advanced settings. Find the recording settings. If you set the recording format to MKV instead of MP4, then check the option to automatically remux to MP4. This will automatically convert your recordings to MP4 so they can be used more freely. If you're recording in MP4, then make sure this setting is unchecked. Apply. Select hotkeys from the side. Select the filter box and type in recording. Select the start recording box and press a keyboard shortcut. This will allow you to start a recording using the select buttons. Input the same keyboard shortcut for the stop recording hotkey. When both hotkeys are the same, your selected keyboard shortcut will work like an on off switch. You can click the clear button to remove the shortcut if you wish. Apply, then click OK. Go to the scenes panel and click the plus icon. Name the scene, record screen and click OK. Go to the sources panel and click the plus icon. Select display capture. Name the display capture screen, then click OK. Leave the capture method set to automatic, then expand the display menu and choose the screen you want to record. Choose whether or not you want to capture your cursor, then click OK. Go back to the sources panel and right click on your display capture source. Go to transform, then select fit to screen. Your screen should now take up the whole preview window. If it doesn't, then right-click on the source again. Then go to Transform and select Stretch to Screen. Click the Start Recording button or use your recording hotkey, and you will now be able to record your screen in OBS. Please leave a like if you found the video helpful.